Hello creators, so right here we have the new iPhone 12 mini. And can we take a moment to appreciate the packaging of Apple? Look at this. The cardboard box is even designed to deliver the perfect unboxing experience. No other company does that. All right, right here is the iPhone 12 mini. I got the 128 gig version. And let's open this bad boy up. Listen to this. Ooh, baby, that is something that you're gonna cherish. Let's open it up. This is the best moment of every unboxing. Wow. Okay, this phone looks a lot more blue than on the website. Look at that. It looks way darker on the website, but in real life, it's actually an extremely blue. Deep, deep, rich, royal blue. Let's peel this off. Wow, okay. And uh, we got a little bit of a bigger power button on this phone. We got a USB-C to Lightning, which is uh, not everyone has this type of charger. If you want their charger, you need to pay another 50 bucks. And uh, got a little pin, okay. This has been the lightest and thinnest iPhone box ever. And when I picked up this phone, this is also one of the smallest iPhones ever. I have normal hands and it kind of just like fits on top of my hand right there. And let's look at some other details of this phone. On the back, there are two cameras. And as you can see, the camera glass right here, it's a little bit of a different texture. It's a frosted glass instead of a glossy back. And this glossy back, panel is extremely sensitive to fingerprints. I don't know if you can see already, but I have like a million fingerprints on here. And we got the silence button, volume, very tactile buttons. I think this is like the widest button yet, the most tactile I've ever seen. Very clicky, I like it. Got the SIM card and everything. All right, it came with some battery. Let's swipe up the open. All right, I've gone ahead and set up the phone right here and let's swipe up to get into the iPhone. No SIM card installed, but that's fine. All right, so as you can see, the screen right now, it is a new type of display. This is a Super Retina XDR display. So it has a very high pixel density. What that means is the image is gonna be super clear. Like if you see this, you don't really see individual pixels on here. And in addition, this is like a 5.4 inches from edge to edge. And of course, they've upgraded to now an OLED display. One of the main reasons why I upgraded to this iPhone 12 mini is because I had the iPhone 8 plus before and look at the size difference. And the screen is smaller, but it doesn't really feel that small. It just really feels nice to hold in the hand. It is extremely light, 133 grams. And as you can see, the notch is noticeably bigger, even though it's the same size, but because everything else is smaller, the notch just looks huge. Like it takes up half of the room. Like it takes up two apps, three apps width. And the bezels, they seem a little bit bigger as well, um, just because everything is smaller in comparison. Um, let's get into the camera real quick. All right, so this is a camera. We have a picture mode, we have a portrait mode, uh, we have a panorama, and let's see, we have a video and time-lapse. No matter you're an Apple fan or not, one thing you really gotta appreciate about Apple's products is that they all feel so inspiring to hold. Like this, it's just such a nice hand feel right here. It's so light, it's so small, but it's actually so capable. And that's what I love about this product. And it's one of the main reasons why I bought it is because of its mini size. You just feel like you have full control over this thing, over like a big phone like this, where you kind of like don't have a full grip over it, you know? 
like you're struggling from edge to edge, but this you can reach no problem. I'll be doing a full review of this iPhone 12 mini. Click right here to subscribe for when that comes out. This is Creators Unbox and keep creating.